to talk about uh, Gordon's leg lock entry and how it could be dangerous for your knee. I actually made a post about this and a lot of people commented saying that they uh, had actually injured their knee doing this, trying this particular entry. So I'll go through why it's dangerous. I brought my knee model here. So for those who don't know, I'm actually a physiotherapist. I have a PhD in physio focused around knee injuries. So I should be qualified to, to talk about this topic. Um, first of all, so this is your knee. On the outside of your knee, here you have the LCL. This long, broad, uh, sorry, thin ligament here, it provides lateral stability. So when your knee starts to twist sideways like this, you can see that puts pressure on the, the LCL. Now, the, one of the reasons why uh, we want to make why we should know that the LCL can be a bad injury is that because it's long and thin, when it ruptures, it's very hard for the two ends to, to connect again. So if you get a partial tear, that's fine. It can heal quite well with scar tissue, so it'll get most of its strength back. But when you fully rupture it, the two ends don't meet again, and you'll be left with a very loose knee. Compared to something like the MCL, which is very broad, when you rupture it, the two ends will still be relatively closely connected and can re uh, join via scar tissue, even if it's a com complete rupture. Um, so often that means if you fully rupture your LCL, that is surgery. So anything where you start to put inside pressure on the leg and outside pressure on the knee, sorry, uh, inside pressure at the ankle, outside pressure on the knee, will start to put strain on the LCL. Uh, and, and there's a lot of things in Jiu Jitsu that will cause this. Um, it's bad to have your foot going to, like this starts to pressure the LCL when your foot's going towards your, your head or towards your hips like this. But it's even worse if you start pushing against that and resisting. So if I'm, my foot's getting pushed in and I'm pushing against that, trying to flare my, my knee out, that's probably the worst case scenario, which is actually what is happening in, in the entry. And it's just, all it takes is one injury and then it's gonna uh, cause some long-term uh, problems with this with this ligament. So essentially, if you look at the way Gordon has approached it, he's essentially uh, Rosh has gone up for the knee through here, and Gordon's got his leg hanging over the top. And the way that he's looking to to enter here is keeping the knee flared out because if the knee gets pushed in, that becomes a smash pass. So he keeps his knee flared out, and he's trying to shoot that knee back behind. And you can see here. This effort, like I'm, I'm either going to get smashed past, like this, or I'm going to put outward pressure trying to knock Ari over. Now if we go back with the knee flared, Ari's hips coming forward and me trying to flare my knee out, this is exactly how you rupture your, your LCL. So how can we do this a little bit better? Well, first of all, from here, I think it's a recipe for disaster. Even Ari just coming forward could possibly injure my knee, so I would not be when they're going for the knee through, I would not be shooting this leg over the top. Half butterfly is different. Okay. In the half butterfly here, I can allocate my, my knees outside, but you see, I've got a lot more upward directed force here. It's very hard for Ari to cut across my ankle and put pressure on. So this is different to being like out on the side like this with your foot here, okay? From the half butterfly, I can elevate upwards, okay? Now that I've pushed straight up, I can now get my angle around and chop and it doesn't get that same uh, pressure. Once my left knee is in and my legs are locked, um, I have much more stability around my leg. And if you ever want to knock someone over, so let's say Ari's pressuring here, it's never by flaring my knee out that will again put pressure on the LCL. It's like a more hamstring curl with both legs, so you see, I start to push like like this, never like that. Okay, if I push out like that, that pressures the LCL. It's always with both knees like that. Once your feet are locked, it is okay to start to extend, but never with that outward pressure. So if you start to elevate first, and then go into the entry, this is fine. Next to no pressure on the LCL. But if you're trying to enter from here, like I've seen Gordon do in a few of his matches, trying to shoot behind and come back, this is a disastrous scenario for your LCL, especially if you get one person heavy or the, you get the one injury, and then from then on, it's gonna be a weaker ligament. All right, hope that was insightful.